Hello, Gemini. It is time for your mid-February to March reading of this current year. Hooray! You've survived another one. You may move on to the next level. Ha ha ha. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so it's going to be two readings. One for you, one for your other person. Don't know who's who. As always, group one, group two. Um, I'm still taking personal readings if you want one. And my PayPal is down below if you want to make a donation because I normally don't charge for anything. Everything's in the description box if you need to find information before we get started. Okay? Okay. No whammies. Okay, Gemini. So, for you, we got Wheel of Fortune. Moving ahead with shit, are you? King of Swords. You also might be looking for the truth. Nine of Pentacles. The Emperor. Six of Swords. The Moon. Ooh. With the beginning theme, V. The Star. Possibly an Aquarius. But you're definitely feeling like there's communication, there is connection somewhere with you. Somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. Hmm. So let's see, group one. There seems to be somebody really wanting and wishing to find out some information or maybe seeing things for how they are. But the problem is, is that, like, someone's definitely wanting to go away from that. We got the Emperor over here. Someone wants to stay in control while the Wheel of Fortune is moving ahead for you. There are some things that are illusions underneath the surface hidden by the moon. Maybe a little bit of manipulations in the background. With the fear of, like, someone dealing with themselves, <laughs> so to speak. Let's see. What's the Wheel of Fortune clarified by Rider Wheat? Ooh, King of Swords. Once again, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The wheel is moving with this King of Swords. I have to say, that's pretty damnable. Like, there he is, on either side of himself, looking to hurt somebody who isn't going to tell him the truth. He's definitely cutting through bullshit. Like, the wheel is moving for that. You're either dealing with another air sign, or that is Gemini just moving ahead and being like, I am not putting up with your bullshit today. Or it could be you, Gemini. It all depends on where you see yourself. Um, person who's in control right here, the Emperor, could be Aries, since that is their card. But um, there's completion in the world. Someone has complete control over this situation. Nice. Um, King of Swords right here is ruling like a King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It could be such a person who is portraying these things, or it could be an energy in your chart. But someone is definitely administering, you know, their rule to control how the cycle is going to end or how things are going to go. Like, someone is in complete control with this. <clears throat> They're not being indeterminate, but they are being fair. They're making sure the King of Wands is looking at this King of Swords over here at the Wheel of Truth to make sure that he's doing the right thing and not just stabbing people for the fuck of it, you know? Like, they are both keeping each other in check. Ace of Swords almost sprang up. Oh. What's going against you? The Six of Swords right here. Someone is being childish with their words, saying how they want to get ready to leave, I feel like. Like, someone might, like, might be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be dealing with Group 1. But, um... This person is being childish when they say that I can leave whenever the fuck I want. Like, or if you don't like it, you can leave. One of those things, right? Or could be dealing with somebody's child, if that. Like, someone might want to take off for the benefit of the, of the child, but this person up here wants control over this situation. 
They want control over what is and is not the truth. They want to be the one in charge of everything. They want to be the ones who are... They already have control of what's going on in the cycle. You know? But here's this Nine of Pentacles and the fears and rejections where someone is expressing themselves, but nothing's coming with that. Like, and maybe their expression has not been of the best character with the Page of Wands reversed. Maybe it's actually been kind of, you know... Maybe even being a jerk. Maybe. Like, even though you were expressing yourself, you're afraid the way you expressed yourself came out the wrong way, or it sent the wrong message, or it didn't take you where you thought it was going to go. And then down here at the moon were these illusions, secrets, influences in the background, a little bit of emotional manipulation possibly. Um, there's a Libra in here somewhere. Possibly. I mean, like, there's so much fucking error as it is. Uh, and Aquarius is over here. There's a lot of error involved in this. But there is a Justice card saying there's going to be some, like, good karma coming out of this moon situation with everything that is hidden. Um, that's the catalyst and final result. And the ending theme is the... Oh, almost at seven. Five of Wands. Yeah. Manipulations right here. Someone's looking back to see if someone's going to come back for another round. Hopefully to communicate. I think. Like, they, they were being a little bit shady. They were a little bit shady. Maybe not intentionally. I feel like, like, I don't feel like this is malicious in itself. As much as it was, like, you know, and, and once again, air. There's a lot of air for you, Gemini. There always is. Air always shows up for you. But, like, it's like this person, yeah, I, 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 I didn't mean to be that devious. And actually, you know? <laughs> um, but here, someone is coming to control how a cycle ends, even though they're looking for a reason to stay. They're going forward with truth, but it's like, I really want to see this see if anything works out right here. If you like. Like, you have already have control of how the cycle is going. How it's going to end. How it's going to complete. And you're already moving in a mo momentum of truth. But it's like you still are wanting to kind of stick around. See what happens. Maybe even see if the water's calm on their own instead of having to leave. Um, and then right here this King of Swords being in or King of Wands being in control with the King of Swords standing right behind him, making sure there's truth out there. And this Six of Swords where someone's leaving in a childish way. I feel like. Yeah, like there's going to be a lack of honesty with that too. I feel like. Someone isn't going to offer something. Like, look, even if he did, he's offering it to this motherfucker's back. Like, he's just stuck right here. And he's just staying right here like, I don't think I'm going to give this to you. And this person's just hanging out waiting to see if they get it. If not, they'll just move ahead. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, and there's going to be a completion with this. Like, there's going to be something to gain out of all of this right here, group one. So, keep that in mind. Now we will move on to group two. Group two, prepare yourselves. So we are now reading for you. Yeah. Ugh. My nose is itching. Oh my god. Excuse me. Okay. Group two, it is your turn. That's fine. You just go that way. I'll get you anyway. Doesn't even matter. Let's see what the cards have for group two, shall we? We shall. Oh dear. Well, what have you been wanting? Yeah, I think that's all of them. I hope so. Yeah, fortunate if it wasn't.
No whammies. Okay. Group two, we got the alien and or the hanged man in this deck. Eight of swords reversed. Six of cups reversed. Prince of swords reversed. The sacred clown or the full reversed. Four of wands reversed. Jesus Christ. The game theme. Ace of Wands reverse. No new start. No new beginning. Something did not kick off the way you wanted it to. Group two. Something didn't work out the way you thought it was supposed to. Some of you are in hermit mode right now, or maybe you're dealing with a Virgo somewhere, or maybe you're just the one reacting. Like, going internally, keeping to yourself, isolating yourself to figure things out on your own. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning for you, too. <clears throat> Down here we have the Prince of Swords, right? Which is somebody who's like... They're not really communicating. Like, they're actually kind of like displaying that they don't want to communicate. Like, they got their sword before them. But the wounds are, like, really superficial. Even though they look deep. Um, they don't really want much to say. Like, they're, it, like, the scars are superficial, so they don't really tell much of a story with him being reversed, I feel like. Like, it's dramatics. You know? And... It, it's like there, like there's a, a lot of poor options in this. Like it, a lot of emotional confusion, no more. But there's definitely a lot of options that are just like, eh. Like this person does not want to. Um, it could be the Gemini, it could be Libra, it could be Aquarius. But it's like this person does not like the options, like at all. Like there, there's no like the options don't look appealing right now. Like, they just all look funky. Um, this Eight of Swords situation where someone's trying to come out of something, they're definitely trying to come out of a bondage situation with the Devil Reverse. Maybe even with a Capricorn, since that is our card. Right? Like, someone was dealing with something stuck in their head. Or at least that's what they want to do. They want to get out of this situation where they're tied to somebody else. Like... And I think they're starting to get through with it. Like, it's definitely something that they want. They want to get out of a situation where they're thinking about how they're stuck to somebody. And they're definitely in this position of wishing to be unstuck for somebody. It's demonstrated by the devil. However, there is this hesitation that is holding them up with the sacred clown or the full reverse traditionally. Yeah, and it is... A judgment call. I feel like it's not as much... I don't feel like it's the clown making the judgments as much as it is somebody else, maybe, trying to resurrect something. Okay. Fears and rejections, right? Six of Cups reversed. There's some memories that someone's looking back on, but they're really not paying attention to any of the good parts as much as they are the bad, and they're just wanting to move ahead. That's part of the fear or the rejection. Yeah, because someone wasn't offering something that um, was honest, or they weren't offering anything at all. Someone was being unapologetic in their ways, right? Then we have the Four of Wands down here in reversed as the catalyst and the final result. Like, a home that isn't very homey. Right? Like, everything's kind of funky here, you know? Like, this person wants to move ahead on, on their own. 
because none of the uh, options look appealing anymore. Like, this person's not communicating the way that they are supposed to, and they're starting to look at things like the options aren't really, like, for them anymore. Or even they aren't an option anymore because they don't even look very viable. Like, they are, like, the last on the list to be picked. Maybe that's why the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Like, there's no connection with this person right now. And that's why you're wanting to go on by yourself. And then, But, like, there's this judgment about the hesitation right here. This judgment to try to resurrect something. It's like, I mean, I don't know if, like, I can't say that, like, this is the reason for the hesitation. As much as it is, like, what will come from the judgment with this hesitation. Like, someone definitely wants to get out of this bond situation. Someone definitely has been feeling trapped and they want out. But they're not moving because of some... Because of, because it would sound something off and people would just come out the woodwork. You know? That kind of vibe. And then we have, like, the situation right here where the house is kind of messed up. And it's not as happy as it was. Like... It's always not as happy as they used to be. There are clouds in front of their happiness. And then over here is some regrets over this not starting up the way somebody wanted them to. Oh, yeah, and someone's keeping it to themselves, too. Someone isn't even talking about it. Da da da! <laughs> but yeah, like, damn. Like, just the communication's just so... Like, just the lack of the communication at that. Like, the lack of taking the initiative to, uh... Even say something, I think, about how these options aren't working out anymore. It's like... It's kind of a sad situation. That's nice, phone. Like, I feel like... Like, someone is stuck in their head... But, it's like, they don't know which direction they're going. Put on my three advice cards, please. Ace, uh, or, no, Ace. King of Swords! Looks like he's there. Still coming for the truth. Still coming to tell you what the fuck he actually sees things for as they are. Or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Something. Oh, someone's going to eventually go on a brand new beginning. They're going to take a leap of faith and go somewhere with themselves. A new journey, a new start. And karma's going to work everything out for you, group two. Like, whatever this past situation is where someone didn't come out with something or say something or apologize for something that they should have done that hurt you back in the day and has left you feeling happy, there's going to be something that comes out of that. Don't you worry. <laughs> Karma's going to be right there. Everyone's been getting karma. Everyone's been getting the justice card so far. I wonder if that's going to be the theme for this coming, like, two weeks or so. Karma. That'll be interesting. But that's the reading, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.